as you probably saw, if any of you saw our hype videos, because Jim and I got a little bit overexcited, made all sorts of videos, as you do. This is also a demonstration of shaders as well. If you go to Shader Toy, you can see all sorts of shaders. I, I think Jim just mentioned that. So you've seen what shaders can do. This is a project that was written by the uh, Skier for Delphi guys themselves. I take no credit for this whatsoever. I did encourage them and so did Jim but it's basically a very simple project. All that we have is one form, and on that form is a SK animated paint box, which is one of the controls that comes with the Skier for Delphi thing. There's actually only a few controls for Skier for Delphi because everything else it does is magic in the background. And including comments in the code, there is only 207 lines of code. If you are uh, sensitive to flashes, I just want to give you a fair warning, there will be some flashing lights. Um, but if I run this a project now, and off we will go, I'm just gonna resize this, a little bug to do with my resolution. But those of you that are familiar with the old uh, 1980s games, like Breakout, which I think was one of the things that Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak worked on many years ago, this is an implementation of a similar game for that. We won't call it the B word because it's probably some lots and lots of lawyers in the background are going to. It's a game where you're trying to break out of some bricks. That's the one, yes, yes. Yeah. But good, 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 good save, yeah. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, whilst I play this very badly, you can see that I'm moving my keyboard. I've got a very clicky keyboard, so I'm sure you can hear that. I'm going to stop in a moment. But as you can see, the balls are going away and it's knocking out bricks on this wall. And if I just swap for a second and buy closing this i can take this screenshot which i took earlier on of what's going on now one of the key things of this game is that first of all i'm using my keyboard to move this particular element of the graphic and there's some game physics going on when the ball comes down and it hits this uh, little bat there it backs back up again and it it finds a collision in these wall bricks or whatever you want to call them as lozenges or something like that also there's flashing in the background and the Skier for Delphi guys, for Paolo in particular, mentioned that they're also able to play sound in the background. Now, this demo, they did get it done rather quickly, and they didn't get time to put the sound in, but they can actually have the shaders playing sound as well, because shaders have got a language, a programming language in the background that makes all these beautiful shapes and flashing going on, and the music. It's usually the music's from a static site, but you get the general gist of it. And you can see, even on the resolution that you'll get on this webinar, which is not full quality it, it downsamples the animation it's pretty incredible and what's even more incredible is the absolutely tiny amount of code in there it gets some assets and creates some parts and then most of the code is really just to do with what's happening when i press my keyboard and then it does the drawing here as you can see the, the little bit of code to draw it and then renders that shader that's it that's all the code in an entire game now that's cool enough, but what's even cooler is that this is a FireMonkey project, and because it's a FireMonkey project, right away, this game works on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android, out of the box. It will uh, work straight away. And not only that, but the guys have actually told me that they've included all of the um, projects in their project ready to go. And even better than that, this is a demo that they're giving away on the website as well. It's a good uh, demonstration of how the thing works. Go to the uh, skierfordelphi.org site and they will be putting the demo up. They want to tweak a few more things because we pushed them for time and it was, <laughs> um, it, was it was released before it was ready in every way. And they are perfectionists, these guys, but that's how it works. Bing. I think uh, if that doesn't give you some idea of what can uh, be done with the Skier Fidelphi, I don't know what.